Hi, Cowboy T, San Francisco Liberal with a gun. I've been requested to do some video series on how to change the Pro 1000 from, say, one cartridge to another cartridge. And I can understand the value in that because, as inexpensive as the Pro 1000 is, some people would like to save money by not having to buy another press. That's okay. We can show you how to do that. Uh, we will use as our example press this one right here which is currently set up for a run of 44 special that I just got finished doing today. New set of dies, I haven't used them before. He has a little surface rust, that's so what. It's, it's humid here. Uh, you can see the primers, in, primers are in there. There's some large primers in there. There's tight group powder in there. There are no cases in here because, well, I used them all. <laughs> so this press is ready to go for 44 special. Well, what we want to do is we want to change cartridges, in this case, from 44 Special, which uses large primers, to 38 Special, which uses small primers. So, what you'll see is how to accomplish that. Okay, we have the press ready to change cartridges. You see here that we have emptied the powder hopper. There's nothing in there. I've put all the powder back in its original container, as we always should do. That's tight group there, which is great for 44 Special. We have our primer tray here. Okay, we got all the primers out of the press, and you'll see that it is indeed off of the uh, <clears throat> off of the, the the feed chute here. It's a plug-in kind of deal, which I will show you with another one. It does this number. Plug and pop out. So for the first order of business really is to discuss how you do this. The first thing we need to do is get the turret off. That's this part here. Okay, That will pop off. Once we get this turret off, then we take these tubes off. Actually we can do those in either order, but that's the order I choose to do it. Okay, These are simply your, your case feeder tubes that plug into the case feeder mechanism which is down here. Okay, Once that comes off, then we remove this assembly here. This is called, this whole assembly, this entire assembly is called the shell plate holder assembly. You have your shell plate, which takes the place of a shell holder, your primer feeder, um, and your um, and your, your um, your case feeder. That's actually the case feeder right there. Now, why we why we're going to replace the shell, the entire shell holder plate assembly? Well, it's actually very simple. With Pro 1000s, if you've ever taken a look at the underside of the shell plate holder assembly or watched my videos for the teardown, stripping, and cleaning and reassembly of them, you'll notice that you can change the primer size on the shell plate holder assembly but it's a pain. Well, the whole reason for changing things on one of these presses, you know, cartridges on one of these presses is to make it easy, okay? That's that's one of the big deals. It's got to be easy. Unfortunately, doing that on the shell on the same shell plate holder assembly is a pain. So we simply swap entire shell plate holder assemblies when we're going from small primers to large primers. If your two cartridges are of the same primer size on the other hand, say 38 special to 9 millimeter parabellum or I don't know um, 45 ACP to 454 no excuse me uh, 45 Colt rather uh, or even 460 Smith and Wesson Magnum uh, 454 because still actually uses small rifle primers then you don't have to do the the primer swap change but in this case we do because we're going from 44 special which uses large primer, large pistol primers to 38 special which uses small ones that's why we're swapping the entire shell plate holder assembly it's not that expensive it's like 39.95 at most vendors so that's how we're going to choose to do it in this case uh, once that's done just double check that make that things are good you know put things back together put the turret back on and you should be good to go let's begin first off comes the turret. Now, if you recall with Pro 1000s, you also have this little chain here which helps to, activ it helps to activate the Pro Auto Disc Powder measure, measure, which is what I'm using here. This is the powder measure. Okay, it helps to bring things uh, back to the reset point. So to do that, we need to 
pull forward and pull back on the lever, which raises the ram a little bit, gives us a little slack, and just take it off. Okay, and while we're at it, since I don't have a spare chain, I'm also going to take the, the, the chain off of here. I'm using one of these because I snapped the chain side so to use the cup or to fix it. So we just take it off. And we set that aside for now. Next, we go up to the turret and we do this. Well, that was difficult. And I will set this aside somewhere. Next, the case feeder tubes and the case collator. That's this big red thing and the tubes. We need to bring those out. Just They just kind of slide out if you twist a little. There, that's done. We'll put these back in later. We'll set this over here. Now we need to take off the shell plate holder assembly. To do that requires an Allen head. There's a little screw, or excuse me, a little bolt, rather, that sits right up in there. It's that right there, okay? It takes a 3 8 Allen head, 3 8 inch Allen head. I don't know what that is in metric, but uh, we happen to have such an Allen head wrench right here with our handy dandy tool. This one is the one we want, it's 3 8 inch. So we simply insert and unscrew it. We may, need, we may find it easier to move this down a little bit to get it out of the way and get to it. We just need to make it loose, we don't need to take this all the way out. It's a slight pain to get it in there because it's a tight fit, but there. It's not too difficult if you can get in there and just take a look at what you're doing. Just give it a few twists to get it loose, and that should do it. Now, what will happen is, the, this um, it'll pop off of the ram. Okay, this actually sits on top of the ram and fit and just kind of slides over like that. Okay, you'll see here in a moment when I pop it off, which is exactly what we're going to do. Okay, well, another thing first, we need to take this, this case feeder right there, we need to get that off. So to do that, there's, a Z, there's the Z-bar, we got to pull that out. If you look right there, you'll see the Z-bar. This thing is the Z-bar. This is easy to deal with. We ju we're just going to... Uh, this. We're actually, we're going to go on this side here, because it's easier. And we're just going to pop it out, right there. Wait, wait. Okay. There. And we'll set this aside temporarily. Okay, and then we'll just slide the Z-bar out, and there it is. Okay, now, we're ready to pop off this shell plate holder assembly. It'll just go pop, and the ram, come on, you may need to hold up, support it, and it just slides right off. If you see that there. It just comes right, come on, come on, there we go, right off, just like that. And now, we use this just to hold it out there. And now, we turn it the right way, there's a little voodoo with this. I have to move this down, and you might even want to pull this out. And we'll put it back in. And now we can set this aside.
Cool, that is a stripped Pro 1000 press. In our next segment, we're going to put the 38 special parts back on. And you'll see how it goes. It's actually a fairly easy process. See you soon. San Francisco liberal. With a gun.